But grounds and good. I went through town yesterday. Good morning. count people. Some are here, some aren't here. Just back and forth. They just say they're not dateable. Good morning. Good morning. How are all of you this morning? I don't ask you that, do I ever? No. Some are here, some aren't. It's good to see you all this morning and welcome to worship. Do you have um, announcements that you would like to make? I messaged uh, Edmund Bonger last week and sent him a picture of our uh, cupboards back there and kind of asked if they would be the idea that Margaret's money would, could, the memorial money could go to the cupboards. And he signed, sent me back and said, that sounds great. So good. Because we were down on memorial money, so <laughs> good. They love the lunches, so they always love the lunches, so yeah. it's appropriate. Well, I thought yeah. if I sent a picture, maybe you know they they'd see what it was, and that we were going to put cupboards over here yeah. and the other wall, and uh -huh. that really sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it's, it just looks really nice. Yeah. It's very beautiful. So good, good. I bet he was happy to hear from you, and I said, tell Dad hi, and. Yep, I sure will. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Susie. Other things to share? Yeah, that's uh, my daughter Lori, the one he's been praying for. Yeah. It's nice to see people that are on the prayer that show up once in a while that need to save Yeah. <laughs> Boy, put the pressure on her. <laughs> I don't want to feel left out, you know. I'm glad that you feel well enough to be here, so. Yeah. It's not going to show you all her body. You don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Scary stuff. So, um, we are coming upon the season of Lent. Oh, yeah. So, the 24th, that's this Friday? Saturday? Friday. Friday night at the Mechanicsville Church, we're going to show a movie, Trolls. Um, it's free, 7 o'clock. Bring your kids or not, free popcorn, um, so on the big screen. So um, Lent begins on Ash Wednesday, March 1st, so we'll have Ash Wednesday worship in Mechanicsville, and then Bible study starts on the 7th, that Tuesday, at Van Antwerp's again at 2 o'clock here, and at 7 o'clock um, in Mechanicsville. I brought some books. So you can take and get read on. This is by Marjorie Thompson, is the author, and um, I really like her a lot. She's very down to earth, but um, very meaningful. So there's a soup luncheon. Oh, yeah, soup and salad next, what, next Sunday. Next Sunday at Camp Courageous. Kids had a lock in Friday night, and uh, Mike, Mike's here, so <laughs> yay. He's thankful to Mike and Mike put that on your bucket list. Yeah. Off, <laughs> off your bucket list, yeah. <laughs> so just grateful that there's adults who will come and do that with the kids, so very good. Holden's out of breakfast too this morning for the emergency. Yes. School. At the Olin School, breakfast today for the emergency um, team um, fundraiser. So, yeah, thank you. All right. Well, I invite you to stand as you are able for our call. 
also works up. <laughs> Have you had enough of the wisdom of the world? Yes. yes. Do you want to know true wisdom? Yes. Do you want to be taught, given, led, and confirmed in the holiness of Christ Jesus our Lord? Yes. Come and embrace the ways of God, the ways of true life and wisdom. Let us pray together. Almighty teacher, Instruct us in your statutes today. Help us turn the other cheek when we are wrong, and do so without bitterness. Inspire us to give to those in need, and do so without resentment. Turn our hearts that we may learn how to love our neighbor, even our enemies. Teach us and show us the way to holiness, that we may be a holy people. Amen. Our opening hymn is Hezu, Hezu, page like we're walking through the mall today, okay? Oh, you never get me there. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend. This is all pretend. <laughs> yeah, I should have practice. <laughs> so, the first thing we see, we come to that place where people get their hair cut, and we look in the window, and there's this little boy sitting in there, and he's getting all of his hair cut off because... He went to bed that night and put gum in his mouth and got the gum stuck in his hair, so he had to get all of his hair cut off, and he doesn't look very happy. Now, we could point and laugh at him, couldn't we? There's no law against that, but that would not make him feel very good, would it? So let's just 
wave at the little boy and smile. He looks like he needs a friend today. Everybody stand and smile. Yes. <laughs> no, I smile and wave so that he knows he has a friend. So, I like it when we do the right thing, even though we don't have to, but because we can. Okay? So the next place, we come to the food court, and ah, they have just baked cookies. And we are so lucky because they just put out the free samples. <laughs> Yummy. Now, we could take all the samples ourselves and eat them all ourselves, couldn't we? There's no law against that. They're just free. What do you think we should do? Take them and run. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answer? Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Yeah. Try. Let's try one and, and leave the rest for others to try. Not because we have to, but because we can, right? Well, the next thing we see as we're walking down the mall is this little girl, and she looks like she's lost. Now, we could just keep walking right by, couldn't we? To not our sister. What do you think we should do? We could go wait with her and wait until her parents find her. Not because we have to, but because we can. And here comes her parents, and they're so happy to see her, and they say thank you and go on their way. All right. Well, finally we come to the place where we was coming to the first place, the toy store, the best place in the whole play, in the whole mall. And we have saved up our allowance, and we have $5. So we go get that special toy, and we're waiting in line, and we figure we're going to spend $4.75. So we're going to have 25 cents left over. And I know what we're going to do with that 25 cents. We're going to go out to that big gumball machine out there and where it comes, rolls and rolls down and comes out. And that's going to taste really good. But there's some trouble in the line ahead of us. This kid's buying a birthday present for his brother and he's 25 cents short of having enough money to buy the birthday present for his little brother. Well, if we give him our 25 cents, we're not going to get that great big gumball that we want so bad. Wasn't that big. Wasn't that big. <laughs> 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 So what do you think we should do? Here. Give, give him the 25 cents? Yeah. Not because we have to, do we? But because we can. So we've done a lot of good things today, haven't we? Yes. It feels good when we do the right thing. Not because we have to, but because we can. So let's, let's pray together, but I'll say a line, I'll say something different each time, and then you respond by saying, because we can, okay, because we can. Let's pray. We will be kind to others, not because we have to, but because we can. We will share with others, not because we have to, but because we can. We will help those in need, not because we have to, but because we can. Amen. All right. Well, we are picking up our quarters this month, the last two months actually, for our food pantries in Anamosa and Mechanicsville. And food pantries are a wonderful ministry for families who can't get enough food to eat. So, Mike. Look, I don't have to give up a gumball. I found quarter. <laughs> you are one lucky man today, I'll tell you that. So let's sing our thank you song. Thank you, Jesus, amen. Thank you, Jesus, amen. Thank you, Jesus.